that we are still in captivity today, sister? We are Israel united in Christ, sister. That's right. Israel united in Christ. Come closer, sister. I can't hear you. Would you, you had a question? Israel united in Christ. Now I have a question for you. Did you know that you're still in captivity today? You're still in slavery today. Did that's you know that? You said what, sister? Okay, so what is going to set us free from this slavery? Because it's been over 400 years. Teach on. What is going to set us free, sister? Watch. We're going to show you what God says. Hey, let's get that again. John 8, 32. Precept upon precept. Because that's that, like we read already. The truth shall make us free. That's right. Because that's right. we have been lied to as a people, right, that's sister? Right. We have been lied to. We've been lied to about our nationality. Huh. We've been lied to about our culture. Come on. Right. About our heritage. Right. We've been lied to about who our enemies are. We out. think our own brothers and sisters are our enemies. But then God gave, he listed our enemies. And he's, we're going to bring it forth. Because that's the truth that's going to set us free. Watch this, sister. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth shall make you free so that's god right. says the truth is going to make us free sister that's right. that's but what right. truth what truth is going to set us free watch what's what watch we're going to show you what's in the book is going to make us free that's right Read that. the book of psalms chapter 119 verse 142 uh -huh. thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness uh -huh. And thy law. Thy what? And thy law. Read again for the sister. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Is what? Is the truth. That's right. So, sister, what is the truth according to God? Read it again. Watch this. Listen up, sister. Watch this. Read it slow for the sister. Read it. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy law. Here's the point is the truth. That's right. Right. God's laws are the truth, sister. That's right. So what is going to set us free? The and The truth, which is what? The, law. the laws right. of God. Right. So let's get right into it. Let me show you something real quick. This is something that's going to help set our sisters free from this captivity that we in. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because this, yes sir, Matthew 11 and 6 first. Let's get that first. So now, many people, when they read the Bible, when we teach them the Bible, they get offended, sister. On, and all we're doing is reading the Bible. That's all we're doing. We're going to show you. Right. We're going to show you what Christ said himself. Okay. And we don't want you to be offended. Because this is something that's going to help set us free. Watch this. Sister. What's your name? Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton? Okay. My name is Michael Ezra. All right, sister. Okay. Watch, watch this, sister. Watch this. This is something that's going to set us free. And this is something we have been lied about. That kept us in captivity. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 11 and verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So all people don't even know that you're blessed when you don't get offended when this Bible coming out. That's right. All right. So now we're going to show you something that's going to set you free. Because the Bible said that's blessed right. is he who shall not be offended in me. That's right. A blessing is a good thing from the most high. All right. So watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read again and read woman strong. The woman. So God is talking to who, sister? Talking to women, to men. Right. So right now, who is he talking to? Me. 
He's talking That's to right. you, Sister Linda. On, He's talking out. to you, okay? Bring so watch this. Out. This is what God is going to say to you. Read bring this. And remember, blessed is he. Blessed are she, too, who shall not be offended That's in right. me. So watch this. Read. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says the not woman shall not, not wear what? Lipstick? <laughs> lipstick don't pertain to men. Come on. Come on. Okay. Read it again. Let's, yeah. we, want, we want you to understand God. Oh, yeah. Watch this, Sister Linda. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So our sisters, our women are not supposed to wear those things that belong oh. to men. So, right. So what today do our sisters wear that belong to men? Yes. What are you wearing right now, sister? I'm trousers. Right. Pants. Right. Right. So no. that's something. God says the women shall what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. So that has kept us in captivity, sister. That's right. 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 So God says the woman shall not wear pants. So what should you have on? A dress, a dress yes, sister, right. or a skirt. skirt. Right, to cover your nakedness. Yes, and sister. I know that too. Yes. So, so what, let me show you. Come here. Let me show you what God says about about those women and men that cross dress, because that's what it is. That's but right. you've been lied to about that, right? No, I have, you have not. My parents always taught me to wear dresses. Okay. Okay. So, so somewhere along the line, you just went off. You made. Okay. But now today is to make the right choice. That's right. Okay. So listen to this. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so, all that do so meaning the men that wear dresses and skirts and the women that wear pants and shirts, or, um, shorts, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Sister, do you want to be an abomination to God? No. Right, so what should you do as a woman? That you, and you should burn them dang pants up. Right. Okay, thank right. you for the All right, message. sister. That is something that's going to set us free. Deuteronomy, All right. Give me a matter of fact. First, watch this. Matter of fact, uh, first Corinthians 3 and 16. This is something else that's kept us in slavery. This is something else that kept them mentally destroyed as a people. All right. Because I used to smoke cigarettes too, sister. Right, right. I used to smoke cigarettes too, but I had to give it up. Because I'm tired of being in captivity. I'm tired of being a slave. Hold on, sister. One more scripture. Come on. One more scripture. Don't don't be offended in God. Give God your time. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? If we so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans knew that our body was God's temple, meaning his spirit was supposed to be dwelling in you, if we knew that, would we be smoking cigarettes? No. But that's what we've been lied to. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, sister. That's blasphemy. Moses up. didn't smoke no cigarettes. Read that again. Read up. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's temple. That's you right. are not supposed to be defiling a temple. All right? We have to wake up, people. That's we right. have to wake up. Teacher. We are in captivity, and it's time for us to wake out of sleep. That's right. But our people yeah. love to sin. That's right. Our people love to defile the temple. That's right. Our Come people on. love to do that which we're not supposed to do. Right. All yeah. right. Read that again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Three. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. That's when right. you put smoke into your body, you defile your temple. Right. You put chemicals into your lungs. That's why you cough. Bring it out. Your lungs don't want that in its body. That's right. right. That's defilement of your temple. Jesus. And God is going to destroy you. That's right. With throat cancer, right. lung cancer, right. a bullet might, might, might hit you in the neck. Come on, Drive by shoes. Murders is rampant in our community. That's, That's right. right. This is the truth that's going to set us free, brothers and sisters. That's right. This is the truth that is going to get us out of this captivity. That's right. We have to awake out of sleep. Right. Get Jeremiah 9 and verse 12. Bring it out. Because the sisters said that Moses smoked cigarettes. Right. Where is that in the Bible? You see that? So, and when she first came up here, she said she was from some Baptist church. Come on. Okay. Watch. Where in the Bible did the Lord give us Baptists? 
Did the Lord give us Pentecostal? Did the Lord give us Christianity? All these different things are of your own imagination. That's right. right. And those are things we got to change. Go to Jeremiah 9 and verse 12. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 12. Bring it out. Who is the wise man that may understand this? Who is the wise man that's going to understand what's coming out of the Bible? That's going to hear the law, statutes, and commandments. That's going to hear the word of the Lord and understand it. Meaning what? Apply it to their life. That's right. Not just walk around saying, I love the Lord, 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 Lord. Come on. That's but that's right. really going to understand what's in the Bible. On, We're up. reading the Bible. That's right. Come on. And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken? Meaning, who's actually in the scriptures? Studying and understanding and applying the words of the Lord. Because that's where his mouth is. Right. It's in the Bible. That's right. When you're in these Christian churches, all you're doing is listening to pastor. Come on, team. You don't go and study and read the Bible for yourself. That's right. To get your spiritual closeness to God. Because if you did, it would show in the way you carry yourself. That's, that's right. Come on. That he may declare it for what the land perisheth and is burned up like a wilderness. Because this is the reason why uh, we're not in our land today. That's right. This is the reason that we've been desolate as a wilderness. That's right. right. This is the reason why we're destroyed in our minds. Teach out. This is the reason why we look at the image of the beast, of the image of white Jesus, and think that's Jesus. Come on, right. teach out. Because we are destroyed because we don't want to keep no commandments. That's right. We want to walk out to our own imaginations, but That's still right. think we're close to God. That's right. Read. That none passeth through. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, because thou hast forsaken my law. Because thou hast done what? Forsaken my law. Because our people forsake the laws of God. That's right. You see that we bring out basic scriptures like women not supposed to wear pants, men not supposed to wear dresses. Basic scriptures that God says man's supposed to keep a beard on his face. That's right. We go to the most basic scriptures because when you're a baby, that's where you start at. You start at milk. Right. You don't start eating so long steak when you're a baby. That's right. You start at the basics and build yourself up to where you're strong enough to handle that stronger meat, them stronger laws. That's, that's right. right. Come on. Which I set before them. Read that part again. And the Lord said, because they have forsaken my law. Because we've left the laws of the Most High God, which which is our which is our cover, which is our uh, which is our strength. Read. Which I set before them, uh -huh. and have not obeyed my voice. And have not obeyed nothing that this Bible say. That's right. We got brothers and sisters buying and selling on a Saturday. Right. Brothers balling their heads, shaving their beards, sisters wearing pants. All of these basic things is what keep us in captivity because guess what? The other nations tell us that we can do that. That's right. You see that? So now we end up serving the other nations and not serving the Lord, but yet we say we're of God. Right. It makes no, no sense. Neither walk therein, but have walked after the imagination of their own heart. That's the point I want to get to because the sister said Moses smoked cigarettes. Hell, they were smoking something. Sister, you you walking after the imagination of your own mind. That's right. You cannot take the Bible and made it with your own mind. That's Why right. can't we do that? Why does the Bible say don't mix the Bible with your own mind? Give me Jeremiah 17. Hold that. We coming right back there. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch what God says about the mind of the mere man without the words of God. Bring it up. You see that? We go into our own imagin imaginations and start pouring out evil and then say we're of the Lord. Jeremiah 17 and verse... Yeah, 9. What did I say? 4? Yeah, 9. Bring it the book out. of Jeremiah yeah. chapter 17 and verse 9. Bring it out. The heart is deceitful That's above right. all things. You see what God says about your heart, which is your mind according to Mark 7 and 21? It says the mind is deceitful above all things, read, and desperately wicked. You see that? We go, we'll start spewing out anything. We'll start spewing out 
Moses smoked cigarettes. Bring it out. Just so we can stay in the imagination of our sin. That's right. Rather than have to clean ourselves up and come to God in a cleanly spirit, we rather make provisions or excuses for our sins so That's that right. we can continue in wickedness. That's, That's right. right. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.